hopefully we're making things better for everyone else. But um, I mean, obviously it's, it's a really fun group. It's an awesome um, just network of student athletes, of staff. Um, and I feel like we're in a really special position um, anyways. I mean, obviously a lot of things going on with our school right now in our world, our country. Um, so we're in an awesome spot to really try to affect change. But I think a big thing in SAC is, is um, being willing to speak up and advocate for other people. And again, a very special position that we get to be put in and um, helps to be with a really good group of um, people within SAC eBoard, SAC, the whole group, um, with the help of our admin. Um, so it, it's just a really good opportunity to be working with a big group of people. First of all, I'm honored. <laughs> I got to work with the eBoard last year too um, under Rachel and she did an awesome job. She was a great leader for, for us, um, really put out some stepping stones, I think, for all of us on eBoard to follow. Um, and I mean, being on the eBoard, I think is, it's just an opportunity again to be helping however we can. I think this is a really driven group um, with a lot of great ideas and willingness to really step up and take an action for uh, the other student athletes that we're working with on a day-to-day -day basis. I love it, it's a great time. I feel like we try to keep it fun, um, try to keep it lighthearted, try to enjoy what we're doing. Um, but of course, when it needs to be serious, we say, okay, this is what needs to be done. Um, and definitely I, I have a lot of help too. It's not just me, it's the whole group, it's the whole board of SAC reps as well that we have people that come to us and say, hey, we want to see this done. And so it's our job to go to the admin and say, hey, this is what student athletes want to see. And then they have to tell us, okay, this is our plan with this item. And we have to turn around and communicate with everyone. So it, it's really just working within a team. Um, and it, it takes leadership from everybody. It's a really good network of everyone working really hard to achieve our goals. An overarching goal, of course, for SAC is, is really getting our student athletes to be engaged um, with what's happening on campus, like within Cabot, within our athletic department, within Matthews, different locations, um, and, and really supporting each other, but also becoming educated on other matters. So obviously um, with our Black Lives Matter movement, um, and even with COVID too, we have to work really hard on what can we do um, to affect change in this time. And so, like Adam was saying, we uh, Mayo did a really good job creating a Black Student Athletes Caucus, um, so a group that can um, provide opinions on certain matters. And that was one of our really big goals. So it's awesome that's already set up. Um, and we want to create some kind of inclusion training by the time the year starts. So we have an overarching goal of, of participation and support between student athletes, but I think right now we have some goals um, that are being achieved at the moment. With uh, the Black Lives Matter movement beginning um, earlier in quarantine, it was awesome to see some student athletes reach out immediately, um, some SAC reps also alongside their teammates reach out immediately and say, this is what needs to be done. And that's exactly what the core of SAC I think is, is speaking up and advocating for change and then having that support system to help achieve that goal. It's cool to be able to have um, that look inside into how things are going and um, kind of represent not just you, but your team's uh, opinions on various outlooks. Um, so I know for men's soccer in particular, um, you know, voting on how we want future seasons to look and making that, you know, a two semester thing, hopefully was a big point of contention in our community. So, you know, that's just a really great example of kind of the cool uh, things we get to talk about and affect change. And then, you know, obviously you get to work with really cool and uh, interesting people like, uh, you know, Jordan, Myoa, Bailey and Sammy. Um, it's a fantastic team um, and they all have their very unique attributes that they bring to the table obviously goals have changed in recent times um but you know obviously for personally the big thing was trying to get um appropriate legislation for men's soccer just because you know nca men's soccer and women's soccer does a lot of things different from the rest of the world and you know there's a conscious effort from our community to try and get it more in line with real professional soccer um but also, you know, to make Northeastern athletics kind of 
um, more in line with what we hope to see. Um, obviously, that's changed not just from an athletic standpoint, but now with the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, Mayo has done a great job starting um, the, I, I want to say the Black Student Caucus. Uh, yeah. Um, so he's done a great job starting that. And like, we're going to be um, integrating with them, hopefully, and having them uh, participate at our meetings. Um, so it's definitely changed a bit from what I thought the goals were going to be, but I think the goals, you know, they're still, they're still really cool. And I'm really excited to play an actual part in that. And again, affecting change and kind of making it um, how we want it to be. And I think that's the coolest part. We have a ton of student athletes at Northeastern and, you know, Northeastern student athletes, they know, they understand things that are happening in the world around them. And, you know, they want to see people make the right changes and to be able to represent, I think I can speak for everybody. Like, you know, you have people, you know, for me, a team of 25, 26 guys, and, you know, we have two representatives and, you know, guys care about what we talk about. Um, you know, they want to make sure that they know like, Hey, like make sure we vote yes on this or, um, can you bring up why to the group and see why that hasn't happened yet? Or just even asking questions like, why is this this way? Um, you know, so yeah, it's, it's really important. And um, I'm glad like, I'm able to take part in it. It means a ton, you know, um, just the ability to work in close relationship with administration and kind of just work with your peers. You know, you spend so much time with your specific team, like, I know, especially in hockey, we're on the road a lot and it's a long season and um, just be able to meet more other student athletes around campus that you may not be able to meet otherwise and hear their points of view and um, kind of have a chance to represent the athletic community as a whole is really special to me and I'm honored to do it. And um, the I've been able to meet so many great people through the process and, and uh, kind of create a rounder um, athletic experience. It's been really nice. One of my biggest goals for it is, is just the um, ability to teach other student athletes what SAC really is and the fact that they have a voice too in, in all aspects of their athletic lives and um, their lives outside of school also um, on campus. You know, there's like the other um, Ebor people mentioned that um, there's so much going on in the world right now and um, just be able to give my peers a, a voice and, um, you know, start initiatives instead of just talking about, you know, starting different organizations and started working with different charities um, and actually taking a step forward to um, not only making our lives as athletes better, but um, improving the lives of all the Northeastern students. As a student athlete, so much is um, set for you already. You know, you have your practice schedule and you have your class schedule and that's set. And, um, when you have your games and competition so that's kind of put in stone for you and so just to kind of have the chance to voice your opinion and um, kind of see behind the scenes what's going on with the school and know that you kind of have a hand in that, in that experience and what's going on around you because it's what you experience every day so just to be able to kind of have that um, kind of your little piece of the puzzle it's really nice to know. One of the biggest things, kind of like I touched on earlier, is just teaching other students what SAC really is. I think um, the more kids that know what we're doing on an everyday basis, the more kids that can come to our SAC meetings, um, the more kids that will want to help out and um, join different communities and help out with different projects and initiatives. Um, I definitely think that's really special because I wouldn't have known otherwise unless Regina reached out to me my freshman year. Uh, just how special community it is um, and that will lead to greater goals that will lead to um, creating more of a, a tight-knit community. Being on the e-board with SAC is um, a great opportunity to meet different people and learn different ideas and literally just be educated on the certain uh, benefits and the issues they may face um, as a team member of their sport. Um, I think the one thing I value the most about being on the e-board is working with great colleagues such as Jordan, Bailey, Sammy and Adam. Um, they really have the ability to be understanding and uh, most of all 
it's not like they're not approachable. I can talk to these guys anytime. Like, they're great people. So I really do value speaking to them. And then we've got Regina and Jeff on top of that. Like, I can't laugh. I, I used to be like, oh, I can't go to their office. I can't go to their office. It's so easy to speak to them, you know. It's so nice. It's like, it's almost like being in the e-board and being part of SAC bridges that gap between the student athletes and the administration. So I do, I do appreciate it. I do like it. SAC is a group of athletes, student athlete leaders who want to bridge that gap between the administration and the student athletes so we can provide change. You know, I think the biggest thing is to implement change. And that's what we do as a group in terms of speaking on issues, speaking on benefits and capitalizing on how we can, how, how we as a whole and the administration can help promote the change that we want to bring about to make the best student athlete experience for everyone. The Black Lives Matter situation that's been going on um, is, is, is been great um, with SAC being able to form goals, initiatives to follow up and I uh, had the great opportunity to meet up with students and create a caucus of um, black student athletes at Northeastern. Um, Midday and I are now the presidents of uh, that caucus and we've got a great e-board we've got a great um we've got some great ideas coming up really educating everyone making sure it's like a safe home for the black athletes we have at northeastern which all ties into the whole sac group goal we have which is making northeastern a comfortable place for our student athletes being in sac and being on the executive team means a lot to me because i have been um a sac rep just a general sack rep for the swim and dive team since my freshman year. Um, I was very lucky enough to get involved early on um, and see the change that SAC has made at Northeastern in the last two or three years, um, as well as how SAC has progressed as a whole. And I think in the last two, three years, SAC has just become more and more um, able to create positive change and have a great influence on the Northeastern athletic community and the Boston community at large. Um, but this year when I got asked to be on the executive board, I was really excited because I think now I can try and use my voice more than just when I was a rep um, to represent my swim and dive team um, my fellow athletes and just try and make um, positive change and keep the momentum going. I think SAC has over the years just become so much more involved in the Northeastern athletic community. I think the bridge between the administration and the student athletes um, gets closer and closer every year um, under great um, leadership, whether it was with Rachel last year, Rachel Smith, um, or and Sammy this year, they both do amazing jobs of keeping our voices heard um, and keeping the administration close enough where we feel comfortable to speak and be open and honest. Um, and I think that creates positive change. And then with um, recent events, COVID and the Black Lives Matter movement, I think SAC was in a good place, especially the e-board to reach out to who we needed to reach out to in higher administration without feeling uncomfortable and demand the change that we thought was necessary. The reason SAC exists is to be a bridge for communication between student athletes and administration and the CAA and the NCAA. Um, we want to be heard. We want our experience, the student athlete experience to be the best we can get. Um, we don't want to settle for less. And I think that's why every year it gets better because every year we demand more um, for our experience to be the best. And we want to be uh, supported by our administration, supported by our coaches, supported by our fellow athletes. And SAC is just one way um, the Northeastern athletes can do just that. This uh, year, as my first year on the eboard, um, I'm the outreach coordinator, so that uh, mainly involves a lot of community service or outreach in the Boston area and through the CAA, but 
being in Boston is a very, very special experience. We're lucky enough to be in a city, unlike some of our other CAA schools that are in more rural college towns. Boston is a college town, obviously, but with a lot more people. Um, and I really want Northeastern Athletics to make change within the city of Boston as well and be there for all of the different special programs that exist, um, whether that's a program called Playworks New England, which is involved with the Boston Public Schools and getting children active in that system, um, and or it's working at Rosie's Place, which is a women's shelter in the nearby area. We live in a very special area, and I really want Northeastern Athletics to, and the Northeastern student athletes to create change in our home city. Every year more happens, we get more contacts, we find more um, foundations and businesses that we can support. And especially in recent events, so many student athletes have made a call to action to focus on specific foundations, whether directly the Black Lives Matter movement or um, there's student athletes for change. Um, I think recently there, we've realized there's so much more we can do to support nationwide movements and movements in Boston. And this time just highlights all of those um, movements, foundations, businesses more for us to support.